Hello, Steve Mills here and thanks very much for listening to this video. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about why Facebook is for business. And, you know, it's something that I hear a lot and that is, you know, well, you know, I understand LinkedIn, Steve, but Facebook's not for business or I don't like Facebook or, you know, I can't be bothered with Facebook or, you know, or Facebook's got a bad reputation. Uh, I'm talking recently now. Uh, but whatever your reason is or your excuse is about Facebook, I'm here to tell you that Facebook is for business. And I say that as someone who, you know, sort of specializes in, in LinkedIn, really. You know, that's, you know, I run lots of training on LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn uh, very successfully myself. We mean, when, you know, a significant amount of business from LinkedIn. Uh, around about 60% of our business comes from LinkedIn. I'm a massive believer in it. But I'm not here today to talk about that. I'm here to talk to you about Facebook. Now, with Facebook, there's a couple of things that I think you should realize. Firstly, there's the social side of it, isn't there? You know, there's the, you know, I'm connected to, uh, you, you may know that I used to play table tennis at international level. So I'm connected on Facebook to all my old table tennis buddies and you know we talk about how great we used to be and you know the older they get the older we get the better we were sort of thing you know and so I talk about that you know and connect with all those guys and, and current friends you know and and so on and so forth so you know occasionally I use Facebook uh, socially you know it's a it's a social platform and, and that's great there's nothing wrong with that however yeah, the real reason I'm here today and the real reason I want to talk to you is uh, about using it on the business side. And, and that fundamentally for me starts with, yeah, you can do things like events, you know, you can upload your events and you can build, get loads of likes for your company page and set up a company page and so on and so forth. You can do all that and I think that's good. But fundamentally for me, Facebook is about paying money. It's about paying Facebook money. So Facebook marketing uh, is about paying Facebook money in exchange for some form of advertising. Now, let me just explain how Facebook can work. The great thing about Facebook is it knows so much about you and I. It knows where we live, where we're based, it knows what job we've got, it knows um, uh, what industry we're in, it knows where we used to work, it knows who we're connected to, it knows what types of things we're you know, typing into it, what are we talking about, what are we interested in. It even knows things like you know, what music I'm interested in, uh, what are my hobbies, what sports clubs do I follow, and so on and so forth. Now, that's obviously assuming that I've put all that information into Facebook, although there is an argument that Facebook, you know, knows more than we are, we would like it to, i.e. it, you know, it knows what websites I'm looking at and so on and so forth, but that's a sort of different matter. I'm going to park that at the moment. This video is not about that. So if Facebook knows so much information about us, uh, it even knows things like, you know, my marital status and so on and so forth. So, so what can we do? We can decide or tell Facebook we want to advertise to these people, whoever these may be. So, for example, uh, I've got a, a client who sell uh, jewellery, uh, wedding rings and so on and so forth. They sell them to people who are engaged. You know, what better market is there to be able to go on to Facebook, say to Facebook, I want to market wedding rings to people who are engaged, who are within a 30 mile radius of my shop, my, my business. Now, that, that's as targeted as advertising's ever been able to be, I think. You know, it, it, it enables us to do that. And uh, the, the great thing, this is pay-per-click advertising. So in other words, if it doesn't work, if nobody clicks and goes through to your website, then guess how much that costs you? That's right, it costs you nothing. So if this is no good and it doesn't work and it doesn't get people to your website, 
it's at, it's actually free advertising. Now, there is a problem here, and that is your website has got to convert. So you've got to make sure that you've got a good website that's got a good page on it with a landing page, and that page converts into... Uh, into leads and sales. So, you know, that's really, really important, I think, and uh, should be tested. Other things you can do on Facebook is you could take your database, you know, your email database, upload it into Facebook, and then tell Facebook, right, I want to advertise to these people. And again, that works on a pay-per-click advertising basis. Or you could say to Facebook, right, I'd like to advertise on Facebook to anybody who's been to my website. This is called remarketing or retargeting. Uh, so people go to your website and then start seeing advertising for that on, uh, on Facebook. So there are many, many ways of doing this. And, it, you know, it's as highly targeted as could be. You only pay if you get results. And that result is getting somebody to click on your advert and go to your website. And, uh, you know, I, I've always believed that the, the three most important things in marketing are testing, testing, and testing. And if that's so, then, you know, doing this or trying this might be uh, worth you doing. Now, there is one thing I would say. You know, if you're marketing and doing something that you, whatever it is in marketing, that you don't really understand and you're not very good at, then surprise, surprise, you're probably not going to get a very good result. So, you know, my strong advice would be to get some training in how to do this. You know, I've just given you like whatever it is, four or five minutes introduction to it, to the potential of it. I've not trained you in it. OK, so don't think just because you've watched this video that you can go ahead and throw loads of cash at something and all of a sudden it's going to work. It's about testing, trying different things, different headlines, different copy, different target markets, different landing pages. Uh, lots of things to test there. Use of video, adding a, a video to your landing page. Uh, lots of different things that you can do in order to test uh, your advertising on Facebook in order to get the best possible return on investment uh, from your advertising. So that's about it. Thank you ever so much for listening. If you want to know more from me, you want to contact me, go to www.stevemills.co. Thanks very much for listening.